Sharkman has all the underworld makings of an indie action hit. Guns, gangsters and plenty of grit. You have to f Let's find out, Gary. All 105 minutes of the feature film is being shot right here on location, created by an upcoming local filmmaker. Well, I camped at the moment, incorporating Ridge as well, so we've been shooting for, um, it's a 14-day shoot, uh, shooting six-day weeks. It's the story of a crime boss who runs a group of masked hitmen called the Shark Men, but the amateur assassins don't always do as they're told. If you don't get out there, I'll off and get someone else to take their place. Played by experienced actors who've slipped easily into character. Good criminals will blend into every situation, you know, they don't look like a criminal. And like all successful independent films, the budget's tight at $30,000, just enough for a professional crew with uni students to fill in the gaps. It's aimed for international release and industry recognition. We'll put into film festivals, market it that way, get it out there and then use this as a launching pad to get uh, more funding for a bigger film. And the filmmakers are giving you at home the opportunity to be part of all the action. They want to fill the stadium nightclub here in Rockhampton with extras for a major action sequence being filmed tomorrow. For your shot at stardom, be here from midday, and if you're good enough, they might even throw you a line or two. Speaking roles are up for grabs. Budding actors must wear club gear for a chance to join the bad guys in action. It's one of the scenes when these like guys, when they're actually decked out in their like, killing gear, when, killing kit, when they go into the stadium looking for a target, they find him, track him down hit a few bounces and um, yeah, take them through the crowds. Rowan Johnson, Win News.